are back with another world famous Vincent Radio podcast episode. Um, first and foremost, make sure you click like and subscribe. Hit the little button on YouTube. If you're listening on Spotify, it's very easy. Hit the little uh, bell symbol, hit that, and then hit follow on iTunes. Hit follow. Do it. We'd appreciate it. Um, in the Vincent Radio podcast studio, the world famous Antonio Pool Party Poppy is back. And Alyssa, it's been a while since you guys have been here. I don't know where the fuck you guys been. Hollywood. We're back. The two high, you know, you guys are getting paid too much for the Vincent Radio podcast. <laughs> you guys have been MIA, fucking traveling. We broke Good, up. Nice we life. broke up. We were together for a little bit. Things were working out. She gave me a chance after the last episode. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we went on a couple of vacations together. And I don't know, what, what, what happened to us? Do not start right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't even know this was like a whole behind the scenes relationship. I didn't want to bring it up till now. I really, I, I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is all not true. PSA. Wow, uh, Antonio, what's new with you, bud? Nothing, man. Uh, just went on vacation. I'm back. I'm home. I feel great. I'm happy to be here. Honestly, I miss this place. Yeah, this is like my second home. Well, you stood me up last time. No, 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 no. Well, all right, all right. I, I, I got in I, trouble. I, I asked it. you last minute. My fault. I asked you last minute, and we were waiting for you. But yeah. anyway. Last you were waiting that. for him, and he didn't show. No, you hear what he just said? I was the last option. It was la- I, No, no, I didn't say it you were last option. was two smoking hot blonde girls and some kid pool party poppy. Who's going to make the cut? Oh, yeah. You had <laughs> other girls on the show. Vin- Vincent Radio cheated on me. No, it's you weren't I'm available saying. either. Where'd you go? You went to Aruba? <laughs> Babe, we were in Tulum. I was in Colombia. <laughs> you were in Colombia. You were in Aruba. I was in Aruba, yeah. How was it? Amazing as always. Yeah, love Aruba. I got the worst sun of my life in in Aruba. Yeah, this, this, I was purple. This, the sun is strong there. You, you got to. I don't know. You need something. SPF eighty. I heard you fell in love out there. We'll just we'll save that for later. Did you? <sighs> yes, I did. Where's she at? There still. She'll be here soon. <laughs> oh, listen, where were you at? You were MIA I off was the in grid. Columbia. Columbia. Living my best life. Nice. Yeah. What part? Cali. Who? Cali? What? For, for you white people, Cali. Uh, okay. What, what? How do you spell it? C A L I. What goes on out there in Colombia? Um, you know what? Not much. Not gonna Nothing. lie. Is it far? How far is it from there? From here. From here. Um, it was like a four-hour f- plane ride. Oh, a it's not less. that bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Did some sightseeing. Only thing I know about Colombia is like when guys say they're going there for bachelor parties, it's just oh shit, hookers, show. hookers, and blow. Really. Perico. Perico. Yeah. You got to say, when you're talking about it, blow. Perico. Yeah, with perico. a P? Yeah, with a P. P, P, P. P-E-R-I-C-O. It's nice over there, right? Everybody thinks it's like like the movie Narcos and stuff like that. It's nice or what? Where I went, it was all right. Yeah? I've been to Cartagena before, which was like oh, way better. I to put the fucking emphasis on the, the that words. That wasn't bad. I don't know about Cari, but <laughs> Cartagena. Cari, not Cari. Cali. <laughs> How do you say it? Cartagena? Cartagena. Love it. Well, you, you had a great it. time. You say it. Cartagena. Okay. Wow. Well, you guys are back in one piece. We're all. Ha- I'm happy to have you guys here. It's been a while. Um, so with that being said, um, we wrote in. We're going to get right into the craziness. So we always do. We wrote to <laughs> our followers, right? Tell us the craziest and most idiotic cheating story they've ever heard of. And not necessarily of them, of just what they heard of in general. Now, the responses I got were out of control. I'm ready. <laughs> And I'm going to hop right into it. So here's one. Shout out to my guy that wrote this. I'm not going to name any names, but he knows it's coming. Okay? You guys ready for this? I didn't want to tell you because it's so ridiculous. There's there's a bunch of ridiculous ones, but this is the first one. He goes, okay. Right into it. This dude was cooking dinner outside for his girlfriend and his best friend. The dude and his girlfriend got in an argument, and she went inside. The friend went inside shortly after to use the bathroom. (laughs) After about 10 minutes, the dude goes inside to check what's going on, and here's his girlfriend getting plowed in the bathroom. (laughs) Opens the bathroom door, and she's bent over the sink getting piped by his best friend. Could you imagine this? That's messed up. Was it his house? It's his house, yeah. He's outside cooking asparagus and chicken, and his girlfriend's getting fucking railed in the bathroom. Okay, well, that's like, what are you doing with her? That's brutal. Okay, wait. No, here here it is. And also, like, best friend? And I asked him, I was, I was like, I need to know more. You know, what was he cooking? And he said, he said he was making Sim soup with a side of cuck crab legs. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, the story makes sense now. Let me cut the story wait, right there. Wait, Hold no, wait, it gets better. It gets better. 
So she was get she was getting railed out over the sink, right? Whatever. I, I didn't really see, like know what happens at that point if they got into a fight, but the guy, right? The the guy whose girlfriend it was, the cheater or the cheater, bought her a Range Rover after, and now they're engaged. Stop! That's the best part of the whole story. You <laughs> left that out. Wow! What? Do you see this? Do, I wonder do if anything. I know this person. It's in Charlotte. Oh. They'll do anything for a so Range Rover. So your girl's getting days. banged out in the bathroom by one of your homies, and you feel sorry for her, and you buy her a Range Rover, and now they're traveling. And a ring. Yeah, and a ring. I might have threw the engagement part in there, but they're traveling in there in a Range Rover. Well, he got her a Range Rover. Wow. Could you imagine? Okay, but, like, my thing is that's your best friend. That's not a true friend. Like people, Obviously no. You can't yeah. even trust your best friend with your girl. It's, it'd be the ones I mean, closest I don't care you. if your girl's a hoe, you know, like. <laughs> If it's my best friend and my man is throwing himself at her, she's not going to do it. Like, Yeah, but they here's the thing. Like, I'm sure it just didn't happen that night. They've had to have, like, had little things definitely. leading up to it. You know what I mean? You don't just go into the bathroom. And like the next what? Night, oh, yeah. Uh, your boy is cooking fucking crab right. or something over here. We got to do it there. It takes a long time to brew up the uh, crab concoction. No, but they they must have been brewing the, the, the friend and the girl. They, they can't. All of a sudden, you just get all you just fucking in the bathroom. There had to be some other stuff behind that. Obviously. Has to be. Yeah, it always is. they already had that going uh, on. God bless this guy. All right, Ooh. here's another one. Here we go. One girl slept with her 15-year best friend's four-year b- boyfriend. Okay? So this girl had her friend for 15 years, and she slept with her boyfriend of four years. And he was a virgin, and the friend took his virginity. Wait. So, they so d- the friend never even was dating them for four years, and they never slept together? He was saving it for religious reasons. <laughs> what is she, the Holy Mary? Like, what? <laughs> she... He, he, where are these friends from? She was she was taking the Holy Mary that night too from the friend. This wow. is insane. I don't know what? where this is. Oh, but they're engaged now. Wait, another I don't one who's engaged. Wait, okay, who's engaged? come on. Is this the same person? Like what? Different. A lot of fucked up stories out here. Yeah, it is 2021. And it, yeah, it's always the best friend. Why it's, is it always the best friend? It's the friend. It's the friend. You I don't know if they're just just friend. your friends close and your enemies Jesus closer. Christ. And Did you Antonio? say he's just a friend. Did you have any that wrote into you, Alyssa? No, I got weird ones. All right. Let me I'm let not me. I'm not even gonna bother. Okay. I got a I got a bunch here. <laughs> Unreal going, the story. Vinny. I can't even what believe else the stories got? that I got got in here. Let's hear another crazy Do you have story. any do you guys have any? <sighs> Honestly, me coming from New York, Staten Island, me, my all my guy friends, like, we're not cheaters, we're all good guys. So Good boy. Yeah. I got, you know, here's, here's one that I got a lot of, and and this is, this is the idiotic part of it. A lot of guys, a couple of them, I saw a common denominator was they got caught like on their doorbell camera, like the ring. Yeah. That's, that's dangerous. Like how fucking stupid do you got to be? Yeah. Like that's just stupid. You deserve it at that point. And not that it's the right thing to do, but you just deserve it at that point. Yeah. You're dumb. Like you're just going to take a girl back and then you have a camera on your front door that your wife has connected to her phone. <laughs> right. She's getting alerts every time you, oh, you're going in. Do better. Do better, mm-hmm. fellas. Speaking of the ring, did you guys see that viral video of the guy um, who like tried to rape and kill some girl and they caught it on the ring? No, no I did not. It's crazy. You have to look me? at it. No, um, I guess like it's a ring recording video, right? And this guy's knocking on the door, knocking the door, talking to himself and the lady inside was like scared because it's this weird dude. She calls the police. Her husband goes on the ring and is like, who are you? And he was like, I'm looking for the girl inside. I'm going to rape her and kill her. Oh, my God. What? And then he kept saying it. And then he walked away. And then the police caught him later and arrested him. Are you kidding me? Where was this I'm at? like, I'm getting a ring tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> like, where should, is this? I, there's a girl that, I, that I'm friends with on Instagram that a similar situation happened. She, the guy was knocking on her door, followed her home. I guess saw her in a parking lot, followed her home. And then the ring, she had the ring and she showed it to the cops. Wow. That's so insane. But back That's to the scary. creepy DMs. Yeah, a lot of them were that. They got caught in the ring. This other girl said that she caught her boyfriend at at her house. She wasn't home, right? The guy was there with like his friends and he was bragging about how he cheated on her. And you know, like the little uh the dog cameras, the verbos or whatever. Was it Verbo? Mm-hmm. Furbo? Verbo. She caught him talking on there. What? Yeah. Fucking idiots. A dog camera? I didn't even know they have dog yeah, they got cameras. The little, it gives a treat. Yeah. You you have the app, right? And you see your dog, you go, come here. And you press the button, it shoots a treat yeah. out. It's Shut actually the fuck really cute. Up. Yeah. Why do I not think of shit like this? Oh. Like what? I know. Mm-mm. A dog treat shooter? It's and girls too. are FBI agents. Like if they want to oh, find yeah. something out, they're going to find it out. Yeah. Whether it's through a furbo, a ring, or, or another whatever. girl. Or another girl. Yeah. 
they'll set you up. They'll have a girl DM you and be like, "Hey, baby, you got a girl?" Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wait, here, here's this. This is this is the, the best one I think so far. Okay, here we go. When I worked as a hospital nurse in labor and delivery, I no joke watched a man walk from his wife's room, who is actively in labor with his baby, to his side chick's room, who is actively in labor with his baby. That same can't be floor, real. Same floor. I know who it is. I don't know who it is, but I know who the girl's telling me the story. They were both in labor, right? She said homeboy had the audacity to knock them up in the same week and they delivered their babies in the same hospital at the same time. And the rooms were right next to each other. And that's how they found out that he was cheating. <laughs> yo, I just want to say shout out to all the dads like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a good dad, yo. Are you kidding me? Like, what? He's there for both? At least that's all. Yeah, I, but that's he, the way I'm looking at but it. I don't know what? the rest okay. of the story. <laughs> but I got I have questions now, okay? Dad of the year. It's no. No. <laughs> He got busy on the same week. He imagine like he had to be sweating leading up to this. Mm. Like she's like, "Oh, I'm going to go to St. Catharines and have a baby," and the other one's going, "I'm going to go to St. Catharines." Like he yeah. must have been losing his contemplating mind. contemplating suicide. Like, and, and then I, when he found out that they're both get, being like in, admitted to, what did he do it like? What like he must have did it both at the same time? Like probably around the same time. Yeah, same day. Same exactly. Like well, they're both in labor the, the same exact. I hope we took a shower. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Oh, double dicking. Double now this is what I think about. Right? Are they like? They're, are they twins? Like, what are they? They're not twins, but like they're at the same time. Oh my God. Right? Is there a name for that? Stepbrother and no, no half brother well, and they're, sister. They're are half brothers technically, but they have the same birthday. Easier for him. And how brothers? Realized. I don't know. It's what just the they have to explain that his dad cheated whenever anyone asks. That's that's the, crazy. That might be. That's like a movie. That might be the craziest one I have so yeah, far. Yeah, that's definitely got to be the craziest one. Wow. Let me see if we got one more in here. Um, but that was mostly at the ring cameras. Like, come on, buddy. Mm-mm. Do better. Unreal. But so if you're gonna cheat, like be sneakier. Speaking of cheating, I I was saw something on Instagram the other day, and I want to get your guys' opinion on it. Um, porn. Okay. Love it. Love it. You're a fan Love of porn. Love it. Alyssa, are you a fan of porn? It's whatever. It is. It is what it is. I mean, I think guys are obviously more <laughs> fans of porn. Porn hub. You're a porn hub guy, or what? I mean, yeah, where I mean, else would you go? I honestly, There's I'm just a couple, no a couple websites. I Are mean, you gonna pay? honestly, I don't really care about websites. I just I'm I'm a fan of the girls. Well, at least Alyssa knows it's free, so she knows she's familiar with the hub. <laughs> I know what it hub. is. Have to have to be. Do you, you do you just go on and like whatever you no, I just you type, type. Yeah, you got a specific search. Of course, Wait. Rachel Starr. If you see this, let me know. <laughs> I want to book you for you whenever you're Florida available. Though. No, she's Stop. from Texas, bro. Oh my but god, if you do you see guys this, are Rachel both Star. like, oh, household name Rachel Starr. Yeah, no, somebody, bro, she's somebody the best. I, I love know her. Posted her at the war. She actually just yeah. favorited one of my tweets on Twitter. So if she sees this, then I might have a chance. Wasn't she with Machine Gun Kelly for a while? Uh, I, I read an interview. I saw an interview that they like made like a video together, and so go oh, and now he's with fucking Megan Fox. Guy's yeah. killing it, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, she's Who pretty. Thought? She's pretty. So so porn. Back to the porn hub. Do you guys consider that like? Like, how do you feel about your your partner watching porn or masturbating? Do you think that's cheating? I think it's fine, but, like, don't do it right next to me. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> like, yeah, that's weird. That's a little weird. Yeah. Just rubbing one out right next to you. Like, go ahead, but, like, like what just if, don't do it. What if, there? like, you fell know. asleep, right, and then you you woke up and your boyfriend was, was jerking off next to you? I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? And make it feel dumb. <laughs> You could have just woke me up. No, I wouldn't say that. I'd be like, uh, you're pathetic. You're pathetic. So you guys are cool with your significant other. I've, I've heard of people like, like, that's cheating. I don't like that. Like, why do you have to look at another woman? That's crazy. I've been seeing a know. lot of like TikToks and reels about like people like coming out about porn addiction. And I'm like, how is that a real thing? You ever see the movie Don John? Yeah. That was a porn well, Remember the, movie? He opened the computer. Dun, 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 dun. And you knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a crazy movie. Crazy. Gave me anxiety. It was a little while. But back to what you said, Alyssa, like people that say porn addiction, porn addiction, and sex addiction, it is a real thing. But the, the situations that I've heard it in, guys blame that. Like if they get caught cheating or they're like fucking around, like, oh, I have an addiction to sex. No, you got caught cheating on your wife and now you're looking for like an exit mm -hmm. strategy. I just want to know, like, because obviously like drug addiction and alcohol addiction, like you need that. Like, what do you do? Like itch to go like hide it in the room and watch porn yeah no, I mean, I, people can be addicted to anything i don't know i was a young buck i was always stroking them out <laughs> you're fired <laughs> up as a to, kid though. yeah 100 percent. have but, you guys ever seen that um it's like a the girl who's addicted to twerking no it's like an intervention of the 
it's called. Is it a joke though? Yeah. <laughs> is her name what Alyssa? I, I, feel, I know, right? I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry. I know a couple of broads like that. But but circling back about the, the masturbation thing. All right, here, I got a little question for you guys. If you can get $1,000 a day for every day without sex or masturbating, how much money do you think you can save up? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm terrible with numbers. So $1,000 a day. For every day you don't jerk off and have sex, you're going to get $1,000. How much money do you think you can get to? I'd make a quick 100K easy. Yeah. It's easy I've for done girls, it before. Right? Yeah. So that's what, like three that's and a half hundred days. Months? No, you said 1000 a day. It's a, it's a hundred days yeah 30 days in a month yeah like oh. three months <laughs> oh buddy Told you I was bad with like, okay <laughs> wait and if Staten i knew Island the money was coming <laughs> if i knew Susan the money Wagner. was coming more yeah no I pun guess. intended i mean you got a good point i got it i don't know it just depends so you said 100k so that's like three and a half but months. that's no masturbating either how many days how much money would you make <sighs> to be honest maybe at most 10 Ten thousand. So it's like a week and a half. Ten, nah, yeah, like ten. So that's ten, 10 14, days, right, Antonio? Ten, fourteen. 10, th- one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. Seven. I mean, that's, you, you sure, bro? I mean, all right. What if you were getting ten thousand a day? How long could you make it? Well, then, nah. I, I guess you got a point. If you're making money, like, like that's a lot of money to not do anything. So you probably could Could's, save. You couldn't 100. last on too hot to handle, huh? <laughs> how long did they go for? I have no idea. Like a day? They're fucking. Retarded. I don't even know. Oh, what that's that was. the one where they get fined, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when I when I did the Bachelorette, I didn't go for a month. Guys were in the shower, or whatever, not together. But like that yeah. was a long. I would have made a quick thirty grand. Me too. I went a month too. You're not you allowed have, to have sex yeah, I didn't, on the I Bachelorette. Did, I had a girl. I didn't cheat. Are you? Allowed I understand to have sex that, but that's no sex or masturbation. You didn't see your girl for a month. Oh, I don't know. I can't. I don't that's remember. What I'm no, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Uh, it's easier for girls though. Definitely, I don't know why they ha- they're just so much stronger than us and prettier. And help me, Vinny. What? I was reading <laughs> the next topic. I really uh, smarter. Touch, I'm sorry. Smarter. About that money. It's smarter. <laughs> Bro, there's girls that like. I've heard of girls that are like. Yo, I haven't had sex in a year. Okay, they're lying. Girls aren't gonna be like. They mean like they haven't like dated anyone. Right. I guess because like Been I'm sure intimate. they. No, I'm sure they have, but they're not gonna be like. Oh, oh, that doesn't count. Yeah, like they're oh, gonna I say like I sold. haven't had sex in a year because I haven't been in a relationship anymore. They're not gonna tell you about the one time they went out and got drunk and hooked up with somebody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. yeah. Makes sense. They're not gonna tell you about the random one night stand. They're gonna just mm-hmm. only look to like the intimate, more hookups. That like had. yeah, like they like think they didn't have sex because it wasn't their boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, women liars. That was the longest I've been for, was was a month for a while. Wait, so let me ask you something: Are you allowed to have sex on The Bachelor? Like I mean, do people if you, smash? If you make it like to like the last couple guys, um, there's fantasy suites. So but are you the top like two guys allowed? could? No, yeah, of course, of course. Do you're they allowed. do they all get smashed? That's no, like, so like so I'm trying to go to the fantasy the, suite like, if I'm on it. So there's there's two fantasy suites at the end. So the 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 girl invites two guys, but you, there's only three guys left at that point. So two guys get invited, not at the same time, <laughs> and then they the other goes home. But they don't have to have sex. But you're, you know, that's like the fantasy suite. Yeah, you know? there's no cameras yeah. for the first time, yeah. right? Did you make it to the fantasy suite? Fuck no. I, I, I left. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> nah. like, God damn it. <laughs> nah. Nah. It sounds intriguing, like I, a fantasy suite. Like, no? But that, but that, like in the Bachelorette world, <laughs> Bachelor, like that's that's like the boom, boom room. The boom, you know? boom room. Mm-hmm. But uh, on Paradise, at Bachelor in Paradise, I got busy. Love that for you. Yeah. Yeah. Took the Good mic job, off. Baby. Yeah, I took the mic off, and but yeah. by then you know because like you've been on the show yeah, for exactly. like you know like the you know the deal, of course. Took oh, you hit it! Off. You like got around. Took it the somehow? mics off, turned the shower on, and then away she goes, bud. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I know if I ever want to go on the show. Yeah, it always. <laughs> you, I mean, you I'm must, you must show. get DMs to go on all these crazy shows, right? I do, yeah. Like Fantasy Island or shit like that. Love Island. Um, X on the beach, probably. Uh, yeah, like I don't know a bunch of them. I don't really know. Bad I don't watch club. them, so I don't know. I can see bad, you on a bad girls, girls club, club. Definitely. I'm not that 100%. ratchet. Yeah, my, my name's Alyssa, and I'm from Boca Raton. I got the. <laughs> I'm bad. I say what I want. <laughs> no, I, well, I do want to go on the Circle though. It's on Netflix. I watched that one. You should. Because like you can't really embarrass yourself on that. No, I mean anybody can embarrass themselves, but you could. You, I can see what you're saying. But you, you know, you're not gonna be like picking right. up with people getting. It's not wasted. ratchet. Yeah. What's up, what's up with those glasses, bro? You didn't even, like, Yo, you didn't wait even, a you're just going with the flow here. I, I'm, actually, these glasses are brought to us by the sponsor of the night, Soap Shade. Soapy? You always <laughs> soap. say soap. I'm, listen, I'm not a real Floridian, so, like, How is it you Soapy? Not know it's Soapy. Uh, it's me, bro. Listen, I you. send glasses, right? I have, a, I have a social media intern. Well, I pay her, but whatever. 
<laughs> she, we send glasses out to all these people, right? And I guess you, if you're not from Florida, you don't know what the fuck Sobe is. It, why is so, it so? Why go, Sobe? I got these glasses. Shout out to so Sobe Shades. Sobe, it <sighs> makes me fucking cringe. It's Sobe. Everybody listening, it's Sobe. Sobe. Okay. Shout out to Sobe Shades. These glasses are actually sponsored by Sobe Shades. Shout out to Vinny Man. I've known him for about eight months now. <laughs> this is the first pair of glasses that he's given me. All these, all these podcasts I do. First pair, eight months. <laughs> We're not going to get into like For the logistics. You, yeah. 1999. But you know what? I'll take them. Honestly, I put these things on. They're comfortable. Well, they're popular right these now. These are. Are these new? You look yeah. like you're ready for your porn with, what's her name? I love it. Who? Rachel Star. Oh, Rachel, Rachel Star. Wow. If she sees you on those, she's going to be like, he's ready to film me. And what, what's up? You don't want to show her the hair cut off. Everybody was ripping you Let's for your hair. No, I don't care. It's just, it grew in a little bit. I, I, see, I got to come. Today is my haircut day, isn't it? Today's Thursday. Yeah. So Vinny gave me a half- so okay, for people that don't know, I, I, I cut a couple people's hair on see? Thursdays and Antonio has like a hard line on the side, kind of like Maluma for people that are listening. <laughs> he, he's like, yo, yeah, make me look like Maluma. It looks good though. It's in style. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be fucked up. But it's, no, no, it's, it's a joke. I'm just, busting. I got, I got some like some hate on my Instagram because you know, everybody in New York, they get their cuts once a week. Bow. Yeah. They were hating Victory ripping Boulevard. you. We're so I like doing different shit and you know what? Vinny skilled it. So thanks brother. I think it looks good. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, everybody? Vinny Vincent here, but you already know that. Now, check out this company I started. If you like fashionable and affordable sunglasses, SobeShades.com. Once again, SobeShades.com, S-O-B-E Shades.com. If you go on the boat and you lose your sunglasses, it sucks. If you get in your car and you sit on your sunglasses, that's even worse. Check out SobeShades.com for fashionable and trendy unisex sunglasses. Use code Vincent Radio for 20% off and free shipping today. SobeShades.com. <laughs> Now we got to circle back. I wanted to ask you guys about, um, have you been keeping up with the whole Britney Spears drama? Of course. Can you give me like the quick rundown? Okay. So Britney Spears has been apparently like not slaved, but like she's stuck in her house. She's on drugs. This is by like her, her dad and the state of California has like given her dad all of the rights to all her money. She's like the power of attorney, right? the dad or whatever yeah Yeah, like he's like like in control of her entire life and she's been going crazy obviously i'm I'm sure you've seen her instagram yeah all those videos over quarantine dancing like a coup yeah so now she's on a trial to like free britney or whatever and she's like spilling all the beans saying what's really been happening and everyone's trying to get her to be like emancipated from her dad and from that situation okay that's the rundown for it right yeah so this is the thing have you ever seen Bronx Tale? Of course. Mm-hmm. You've seen it, right? Now, one of my favorite lines in that movie, and th- this is what makes me crazy about this generation. Everybody's so fired up about worrying about free Britney, free Britney this, do this, do this, do that, right? And in the Bronx Tale, is one of my favorite lines. He, the Collegiate walks in, for you guys that don't know. Little kid walks in, and he, he goes to sit down with, like, the, the town mob boss. He sits down with them, and the mob boss sees that Collegiate is upset. And he asks Collegiate, he says, hey, like, why are you so upset? He says, Goes, oh, Mickey Mantle was is a Yankees baseball player. He goes, oh, Mickey Mantle this, Mickey Mantle that. He didn't hit his home runs, and somebody made him cry. And Sonny, the mobster, turns to the kid and says, Collegiate, go ask your dad. Go ask Mickey Mantle to pay your dad's rent and see what he tells you. He's like, your dad, he's like he doesn't care about you. Why the fuck should you care about them? And that sticks with me to this day for everything. Like, like after that, I threw all my baseball cards out. I ripped the Ken Griffey <laughs> fucking junior post off the wall. I said, you're right. No, I like Ken Griffey. <laughs> no, kidding. But it's the truth though. Like people, it's like, I understand the girl is, 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 is slave to like whatever her dad, but there's gotta be a reason why, you know what I mean? Like why do people care so much about her? I don't get it. I mean, being my age, like Britney Spears, sync, like that was the era yeah. of music. Like, you know what I'm saying? But and do you care that much to like do I, all these people going on rent free Britney? Who fucking cares? Do I do I care that much? I care as you know as a person to see. I hope nothing like is wrong with her and stuff like that. But am I going to be chanting free Britney outside of a Walmart on <laughs> right. on federal? It's like and, that's like, that's that's the point I'm yeah, trying to make. Yeah, exactly. it, it's unfortunate she's obviously mentally <laughs> ill, but like. You're making all these TikToks, free Britney, free this. Like, meanwhile, you're you're in your house. Your baby daddy hasn't paid fucking rent in, in ten months, and your fucking smoke alarm's been beeping for three years. Like, what's your priorities? Who cares? I, I get care it, but I think it's just like people are Britney fans, and they it like sucks to see someone that you looked up to like now like going through that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, she's an icon, and now it's like to know that someone's there controlling her life. Like, that's a shame. You know what I mean? 
But I'm not. I'm not um, doing the rallies either. You sure? I could have sworn I was. I was in <laughs> Meisner over there, and I saw her with, a, with a picket. <laughs> and here's the other thing too about this, the celeb gossip: J Lo and Ben Affleck. They're together, or is it a publicity stunt? They're together. They're, so they're like. I mean, you know the gossip. I don't know the gossip. They're together. <laughs> Girls know the gossip. So like, they're like. I saw the picture where like they're on the boat. She's rubbing. He's rubbing her butt. Mm-hmm. Like the music video. That's back not in the day. a publicity stunt. They're too old for that. Like they're just ready to like. Yeah, she's, she's older down. than him, right? That's like the love, like the one that got away for each other. Right, and then they you know? circle back. But I feel like she's got a new man. Like every five years, she's she got a does. New man. It's J Lo. Who was it? It was A Rod last, right? I can't keep up with her. Broke she's his got heart. a lot. She broke his heart. You think so? I think she. A Rod thought he had. I, I thought gone. he was yeah. cheating on her. I don't. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> well, but maybe I made that up, but I think I heard that. But he, like, I, she's probably not easy to deal with. She's fucking no. J Lo. She's a diva, bro. A diva on top of divas. She's hot though. Of course, Jennifer Lopez, Jenny yeah. from yeah. the Block, yeah. Jenny from the Bronx. She's from by your hood, old hood, kind of. Eh, not too far. It's New York. Mm, a little far. Yeah. <laughs> she went from A Rod. Now she's with Ben Affleck. I don't know. I think I would have stayed with A Rod. I mean, I don't know their their situation. <laughs> I just think A Rod would be cooler. He's a Yankee, New York Yankee. I mean, I yeah, but Ben Affleck made like one good movie. But you can't pick who you love. It's true. But she's went back. She must be laying pipe, Big Ben. J Lo's taking pipe. <laughs> yeah. Fuck laying pipe. Well, I'm sorry, J Lo. Gonna... I love you to death, sweetheart. <laughs> For real. But like, holy she, she shit, don't, she don't stop. Every fucking five years, she's got a new man married on boats and this, five that. Five years, I feel like it's less But we that. keep talking about situations and crazy situations like this. It's 2021, you know? Like, I, I'm sorry to say it, and it sucks anything to say Anything can it. happen. Yeah, these anything days. can happen. My parents, your, our parents would never stand for whatever's going on right now, Mm-mm. you know? But I don't know. It's something about this generation. I well, know. I think they'd, like, do it for, obviously, attention. Yeah. I don't know. Who around. was he with? Who was he with ever with anybody? Didn't he, he just have a thing on like Bumble where he matched the girl on like, not Bumble, on Raya? He matched the girl on like Raya. And oh, and she posted it. Yeah, and she didn't think it was real. And then he's like, why did you not reply to my DM? Yeah, that and she was like up. a basic girl. That girl fucked up. She yeah, did. big time. You kidding me? She could have been with Ben Ben. See what happens, girls? Answer your DMs. <clears throat> Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> has Antonio seen your DMs anymore? I don't think so. He oh, um, unfortunately he has my phone number now, so he can yeah. actually well, slide you, in my phone. I think you posted a picture of what it said, uh, on my way, and you said I'm outside <laughs> or something, something like, that. like that. Yeah. What? I don't know. You posted like a picture of you looking good, whatever, saying like, oh, blah, 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 meet me, or would you come here? Something like, some Instagram, like, Oh, my caption. caption. And I commented on a picture and Vinny got a, like a kick out of it that I was like, all right, on my way or whatever. <laughs> she didn't even like it. Did she like Co- it? Of course not. Wow. Of course I not. I thought I did. I'm on I'll me. like it. I'll wow. like it. Yeah. Go on like a picture on your profile from 16 weeks ago when I, <laughs> when I was, used to be in love with you. <laughs> Jesus. Well, listen, now I want to talk about your DMs again. I always love bringing them up. Who? Any more craziness in the DMs? Any more blue checks in the DMs? What's going on? Um, We've got a lot these days, yeah. but <laughs> off the top of my head. <laughs> you were just at Rolling Loud, right? I was. How'd that go? It was good. I was there with Ciroc. I saw that. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Diddy. Shout out you to could Diddy. Have, you could have fucking brought us some Ciroc. What's up? Yeah, I mean, I'm still waiting on mine, so. We how'd that work out? With yeah, them? How, were you working? What do you mean? Like, how'd you get how'd you, how'd you get that to go down? Um, I got it through a modeling agency. Yeah? Yeah, so, I just went to like post pictures really like it was like they had a little tent it was cool i saw some influencer cool tent yeah hell yeah anybody roll through there anybody famous um the most famous person who i had to look her up after but it was ray j's wife from love and hip-hop who oh. the i know <laughs> nobody crazy but it was in general admission so it wasn't even like back nah, it's just it's just cool to be at like events like that yeah. honestly and just meet there's probably thousands of people walking in now yeah like, it was cool big Ciroc tent. Yeah. If I, if I didn't go to Aruba, I probably wouldn't have been at Rolling Loud. It was dope. It was my first music festival ever. Really? Was it hot and sweaty though? It was bad. It looked brutal I when I saw it. stay the whole time. Like it was too bad. I was about to go on Sunday then I just saw like people like shoulder mm-hmm. to shoulder just mm-hmm. sweating. Yeah. Too old for that. Where do they even have it? Is it at the Hard Rock? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you if you could take a list on a date, where would you take her? There's a lot of places in, in South Florida. All right, Florida. but he asked you, ready? One, two, three, go. Moderanos. Not Maybe. even Prime 112? Do better. Ooh. Prime 112? In Miami? Do better. C- have you ever been to Moderanos? Prime 112 is more Instagrammable. You got to know who you're dealing with here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know. Prime is all right. I don't like the Miami crowd. Miami's a little... 
Oh, all right. Oh, we don't too want far, to. too much gas money. Yeah, exactly. Uber, cost the Uber Fucking too much. One hundred twenty dollars for an Uber. What are you kidding me? It's not that much. No, it's okay. like sixty bucks. Would you drive or would you get an Uber? No, I'm. I'll send a helicopter. Oh, you would a helicopter. Okay. Blade. I have some connections. They'll probably get me ten percent off. That'll be like seven thousand. <laughs> what a driver <laughs> for a twelve minute flight? <laughs> <laughs> would you pay for it? Or would you make a list and split it? One hundred percent split. <laughs> Girls are the girls fight for equal rights. Am I right? You're not yeah. gonna spend, not me. Listen, especially wow. if she don't eat the veal palm. That's it. If she don't eat it, she gotta pay for it. Hundred percent. Wow. Go away. <laughs> this is why I'll never get a date with me. Have you ever been on a date where someone like expected you to split it? Um, I mean, like maybe if they were my boyfriend for a while and we were living together, I've done it before. But right. We're, we're like yeah. a first date. No, I don't think so. They've all paid. Suckers. Good. Mm-hmm. Suckers. That's good. That's not nah, joking. Right I would never let a woman pay for. I, yeah. for real. We're, I, I just we're raised like that. We're yeah, from New York. Exactly. These Floridians. I don't know, bro. If they <laughs> yeah, did, right. I'll be like, I don't have my card back. <laughs> I get an Uber home because what the. Fuck? I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yo, right? I think we talked about this on the last episode, and someone said you used the gift card on a on a date once. Me? Yeah. You did? Was, did I? <laughs> I was like, no, never. I, I literally know. hate gift cards. You use a gift card. You're like, oh, you like. <laughs> You're like, yo, my auntie got me this gift card for my birthday. It's like to Olive Garden yeah. or some shit. <laughs> you busted it out. Dead. I would if I had it. I would honestly. I'm not hating on like it's gonna. You have to hide it though. You can't show somebody you're using a gift card on them. Yeah, 100. percent I'd like. I would t- say I'm going to the bathroom and like find my waitress. <laughs> like, yeah. yo, I think there's like 30 bucks on you. <laughs> I'm not mad at that because I would do the same thing. Fuck I'm you, a I, got it. I don't care. Well, now we know. If it's, if it's proof, set, everybody just sends some Melissa some gift card. Maybe she could take <laughs> us out. You know what I mean? Would take 100%. us take us out on a date. I appreciate it. All if right, I now get we're gift cards. We can do it. You know, if anybody wants to what, send me a gift card, in- um, just like write a little note that this for Vincent Radio. And yeah, I got you guys. <laughs> it's like when, you, when you go to uh, Publix and you see like they have a like, Red Lobster, right? The gift cards, Carabas is a big one I always see on the way Carabas. out. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. When was the last time you've been Olive Garden? Psst. Say this next word very wisely. Honestly, I really think that I've been to like Olive Garden once, if me that, too. I swear. Me, me too. Like, but really I hear the breadsticks that. are phenomenal. That's what I've heard. The biscuits. I don't know, but I can't like imagine going in there and getting like a bowl of pasta and be like, oh. Yeah, I think it. I went once when I first I'm moved like here. Like Instagramming it? <laughs> yeah. At Red Lobster? We should go one time. <laughs> I, w- I went once when I first moved here because my mother was like, let's just go for the hell of it. I don't think I liked it. I'm not Where listening. Where is it? It was, uh, I think it was in Boca somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. I think I know where it is. 18th somewhere Street. Somewhere over there. I would I go. Can. I'm not listening. I love to eat. I'll eat anything. Oh, I will I'll try too. Anything. So I'll devour those biscuits. Exactly. We should check it out. I mean, it's the breadsticks and salad. I heard is what really the rave is. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get into the the world famous segment here. Let's see if I can remember the the button. Let's go. Come on. It's called. I just don't yes. get it. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, do you want to do it? You like you like this. Go ahead. Do your movements. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I just don't get it. Here's my rant, and I want you guys to listen to it. Do you guys see these 21-year-old scrawny TikTokers, these, these men? Okay. How old are you again, Antonio? 23? 20, 25. Now, the list is closer to my age, right? Okay. 29. Now, what's up with these, these little TikTokers? Like, is this the look for girls? Like, these little skinny kids, right? I feel like they get their hair cut. They get it buzzed up, right? And they push it forward, and they're like, "Just don't, just don't cut the front." They they leave like a poodle hanging off the front of their hair. What's up with that? You know the ones I'm talking about, right? It's the ones that go like this, right? They go like this. Oh my god! And they lick their. They lips. go like this. That's and not, they do the on. dances. Like yeah, this. come on, come on. Can I, I feel like can I, feel I do like my the world you want to be in? I think so. I, I, can I do my best impression of the TikTokers right now? Yeah, yeah. I wish I had my hair down. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Put your hair down. Do it. Take it. I'm gonna do the, Do a dance too. I don't know. You're the TikToker, but... You need the I mic. I know exactly what you're talking. You need the mic, though. Yeah, the I mic. Know exactly. No, I don't need a mic. I'm just showing you. So then I have to be like, <laughs> down here like this, like, well, fluffy. And like, <laughs> <laughs> just, but it works. Are bro. you one of the famous TikTokers that no, we're I wish I was. To? You are. So if you could, if you got any connections in the TikTok world, I'm trying to work But I it. feel like, is this what these girls are looking up to? I guess the 21-year-old not obviously a 30-year-old girl. I think the this crowd is, is a lot younger. Like now. It's a lot younger, the crowd. Like their their crowds? Do you not agree? I don't know. I feel like their crowds. They're, like I went to the TikTok fight, and the crowds of girls like are just like literally 18, 16, 18. You went to a TikTok fight? Yeah, I got free tickets. So yeah, I, what, what, what was it? Logan Paul, right? No, nah, it was um that was Logan and Mayweather. I went to that too, but they had like a TikTok fight with like just like random oh, Austin vloggers. Yeah, 
McBroom kid and uh, whoever else. Like, but that I, that's like the gen, that's the generation of men now that's coming up, and it makes me feel sick. I don't know. When I was that age, we were like going to the gym trying to be like beefy. Yeah, you know. I, I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't. I wasn't that kid, but I was doing other things than that. I wasn't the beefy. I mean, I was beefy, but <laughs> <laughs> what was beefy? If I show you, I looked like a marshmallow at one point. No. Probably like sixth grade. Yeah, just you're a little chubster. Aww. I'm going back to it though, but I don't care. I think like fat is comfy. in right now. You're thick comfy. is in. Not fat, but like thick is in right now. He's thick, slim, thick, exactly. slim, thick with a tight ass. You fat? Like what they say? Fat and happy, fappy. I am definitely fappy. Nah, but you like to eat. It's good. Exactly. Fappy. Like, they, like what's his name said? Um, who? What rapper was that? Um, Stylus P. What he said? Gangsters don't die to get chubby and move to Miami. No, that's tour. Is that? Is that? What? I, yeah, it might be a remake, but yeah, I know that lyric. What? Do you, who were you saying? What, yeah, gangsters. The gangsters don't die. They get chubby and they move to Miami. Move to Miami. That was Miami when I moved anthem. here. That's Love worst it. live by right there. Hell yeah. Now, I see, I, Lisa, I got to look at your sandals here. Are those the, the $22 ones or are those the real ones? They're, would I wear the fake ones? I don't know. Just kidding. Maybe I would, but they're the real ones. <laughs> are those a Key Basics line? No, this is Key Basics, though. My outfit is Oh, Key shout Basics. it out. It is. And they're doing a really big sale right now, too. We're getting, we're moving to Miami, um, our office, so we're, everything's going for $10, $15, and $20. You're doing, like, Check a liquidation sale? Yeah. Let me put the website, oh. KeyBasics. KeyBasics.com. <laughs> and Antonio's going to sit over here and act like he doesn't have his own merch on right now and not say a single <laughs> word about it. Come on, bud. Get I out there. Thank you. This is the moment I've been waiting for, honestly. Nah, um, yeah, I'm coming out with merch soon. It's going to be dropping really soon. I'm wearing it head to toe right now, besides the $10 Crocs from Walmart. Those are but good. Yeah, nah, I've got some t-shirts, some shorts coming out, some cool, fun stuff that hopefully you like and you buy. And you like and subscribe. And what's the website? website. Uh, it is www.royalbias.com. R O A R O Y A L. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna it is w <laughs> Do you think that? Do you think that's the best name? If you can't fucking remember to say it, bro, you got me drinking tequila over here. I mean, you made me start. <laughs> Why drinking. can't you make, just make it like poolpartypoppy.com? No, because it's the kid that managed me. It's like he had the oh, website okay. set up and uh. everything, so he just took. I don't. I, I don't deal with any of it. I just. Tell me the idea. Too Hollywood, bro. No, I just, I, I, I'm not good at it. I suck. I tell you, I suck Just call Instagram. my people. Yeah, he's too Hollywood. He was, <laughs> meanwhile, he was at um, New York Prime last night. Tough guy. Yeah. Hanging out with yeah, Dustin Poirier. Hell yeah. Shout out Dustin, man. He's he's a humble guy. You know Dustin? Oh, I know who he is, yeah. He's the guy that beat Conor McGregor for the second time in a row. And uh, nah, he was just cool, man. I suppose he's like from Florida. I saw him there. just gave him like, what's up, champ? Took a picture. I paid for his first round because... I, I think know. he. I, I think he's from somewhere else, but he, li he lives and trains here. Yeah, he might. I think he might be from like Louisiana or something. Yeah, and trains are like American like top that. team. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was cool to see him. He's a real humble dude, and you know, I, I've just been a big fan because he's how humble he is. And he has really good hot sauce. It's like delicious. Oh, you he tried does? it? So good. I was. I wanted to ask him if he was carrying on last night. It's but I was literally just, you know. like, and I'm a hot sauce person. It's fire. Really? I didn't wow. know that. Check him out, Dustin Poirier. Did you pay for his dinner? No, I sent wow. him. I sent him first round. Honestly, you did. Yeah, I told the waitress. I was drink? like, "Yo, he did." He looked back at me. He's like, "Yo, like, thank you." And I said, "Yeah, no problem." Picture after, and then later on, like in the dinner, we got together, took a picture. Did you said, "Yo, pool party poppy, check me out." MTV. No, dude, no. Why I didn't not? Pull the pool party poppy. Why not? I told him that I'm gonna post a picture and that he better like, comment, and subscribe. You said that? <laughs> yes. And Good. we were laughing, joking around about it. Now he's a cool dude for real. Yeah. Yeah. Never. I never been to New York Prime. It's pretty good. The atmosphere is like a lot of old people. Wow, I should have said New York Point for us first day, baby. <laughs> I've never been there, so. No, Ooh. but it's, no, it really is good. But uh, I feel like the crowd is a little older, but the food is phenomenal. It's like, it's like a real New York, like. Steakhouse. They, and they have butter cake dessert. Oh, my God. What's that? <sighs> you never been to Mastro Steakhouse? Yeah. Oh, I have, yeah. They have like the, like, it's like a, I don't know. It's like a buttery caramel cake with a couple like strawberries and blueberries, like strawberry, like jelly. I think and I had Ice it cream. It's literally probably the best dessert. Jeez. I have any restaurant. We got to go. I got to take you guys. I think I'm it's the right hungry. thing. I should take you guys there. He's taking us. Yeah. On the Vincent Radio Let's business call. Go. We got to wait till like the first of the month because that's when my bank account's better. <laughs> Takes a couple days to transfer yeah. over. All right. So you guys want to, we, we got Key Basics. We plugged that and we got your website. We'll, we'll get it. Go on my Instagram. It's going to be in yeah. my bio soon enough. It's royalbias.com. R O Y A L B I A S.com. Uh, right. Royal Bias. Any, Royal any bias. famous last words from you, Antonio? Tune in next time to see if Alyssa lets me take her on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, come on. You got to have some famous last words here. 
Live, laugh, love. Oh, oh my god! I'm just kidding. <laughs> get, get a fucking sound effect. Yeah, in there what, was that? that? A, yeah, Holy yeah, yeah. shit! Oh fuck, the wrong one. <laughs> that wasn't a good one. That like that's like on my like my aunt's bathroom. Machine. <laughs> I hate that. I can't. <laughs> on three different. Well, come, up, come up with a better one. Let's see. One more. All right, ready? I put on my jewelry just to go to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> And the crowd wow. goes wild. That's great. We love that for you. Thank you guys for coming. Miss you guys. And uh, hey, God bless. Take care. Brush your hair. Change your underwear. Peace. <laughs>